All right, guys, welcome back. Let's move forward. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. <laughs> Perfect too. That was the last four. Okay, I got a number because the school needs that. Is that anything? Okay, here where the dogs start popping up, I remember. Here we go. Just have to keep falling ass. accidentally hit the fucking share button on the controller. Okay, okay, hold up. Let me get my bearings here. Alright, I'm back in the graveyard now. Oh, oh what? Faster. We'll pretend that didn't happen. We're just going to kill all these guys. It'll be easier later when we have to come back. Oh 
Oh my god! I almost ran into him. That was a... A fucking lucky ass juke, bro. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. through the window and we we'll use the machine, I think. But we're not Please deposit because... any metallic items you have. I don't wanna get fucking in stuck in here with zombies box. and all my weapons are in the other door. Bring the fire extinguisher with me. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Mm, I'll come back and grab it later. I have to make sure I make a mental note to grab it later because I need to take it to part two or else I can't. I believe I can't get the fucking magnum if I, if I forget it. Which is something I think is cool about this game is that you know, it's punishing your very first time playing, but once you learn it, um, it makes things so much easier. Okay, let me think. Not the piece. Let's head to the little mansion area now.
Okay, th there are gonna be zombies here, and I have to be careful that I don't fucking get sandwiched. Oh, I ran right into him. I should have went more left. that herb because I saw the two on the ground. Oh, there? Thank you very much. Hit the stairs! I'm safe! Ooh, that was close. Because I accidentally hit left and almost ran into him. Oh god, I hate tank controls. Oh shit! Forgot about the fucking dog there. Maybe I can... Lock? They can stun lock you and you can stun lock them. Or I, there's gonna be another one. Hello? Oh, it knows that I'm about to shank the fuck out of it. God, it, I think it's only two. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh, fuck off me, bro. Damn, this is one fucking tough ass dog. Shit. Not gonna grab that yet. You don't have to. Right. I know the password for this computer because I have it on my notes from when the one time I streamed all of Code Veronica. Because I had replayed it like. Was it during the pandemic? I think it was during the pandemic. When everybody was quarantining up in their houses. I had streamed it because I was trying to relearn Code Ron because I hadn't played in a long time. Um, which that was one hell of a... It was basically like me playing the game for the first time again because I remembered bits and pieces but not everything. I might have got the numbers mixed up there. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, yeah, I ended up playing through it. That was hell. There was this one part I got trapped in where I only had my knife, and it was like the first Veronica fight. Or, I said Veronica. I mean the first, um... Oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. 
first uh first fight with um the fuck is the sister's name? How could I forget her name, dude? Some part of me wants to say Ashley for some reason, but I know it's not Ashley. Alexia. Oh, the first Alexia fight. Where she's like throwing the blood with the fire. Um I'll start using some of these because I think we're gonna we have to I think these are the ones we trade, Steve. Yeah, but I ended up getting trapped in that Alexia fight, and I only had my knife on me because I took everything out so I could have more inventory space while running around. And I ended up... Um, my friend was helping me, and he he ended up doing something differently because you can get... There's a fight prior to Part 2, or not prior to Part 2, but... Um, wait, hold on, I'm trying to think. Okay, no, there's a fight at the end of part two for Claire before you switch to Chris. Um, the Nosferatu fight, where if you beat that without being poisoned, you won't have to, when you're playing as Chris, you won't have to get a cure for uh, Claire. But I had, um, I had done that, so my friend was like, oh, just go talk to Claire because you have to get her the poison. But um, he, did, he didn't know that... Uh, you can actually beat it without getting her poisoned. So I ended up getting pushed straight into the Alexia fight with only a knife. And I literally was just stuck there and I had to learn how to fucking just, um, uh, beat her with the knife only. And, oh, I ended up doing it. it I died so many times and it was so frustrating and I got so angry. I got so angry um, doing that because it was just so frustrating. I was pissed because it was so hard. I had, I think I had like one heal and um, the knife. And then I ended up, my final attempt, I ended up figuring out how to, how to beat her with a knife. Because it's like a little trick. If you, when you go to knife her, you can get like two hits with the knife. But you have to do it at an angle, like away from her, so the knife hits her twice. And I basically just did that, ran around, and I actually no damage that fight on my last uh, attempt where I be actually beat her, which felt good. I think I clipped it on my Twitch because I was streaming it on Twitch, but I might have not. I think I might have. If I did, it should be, it'll be up there, but the, the actual broadcast got deleted because Twitch after like 30 days deletes fucking your streams so I have to go check my Twitch because I haven't streamed in like years a couple years oh Alexia you crazy bitch Sick, twi sick, sadistic twins. That's not creepy at all. Can I believe if I pick those Lugers up, I get fucking trapped in this. It turns into like a gas chamber. Let's not trigger that. Oh, hold up. Oh, there's more ammo around here. The 
red herb right there. I didn't even notice it when I came through earlier. Should pick it up and combine it. I need to start saving some health. Putting them away for like the boss fights. Honestly, I didn't have to turn around because as soon as I get to the door, I believe fucking Steve traps himself. Or that might be later. I don't, I don't remember. Actually, no, I think it is right now. As soon as I interact with the door. Yeah! Yeah. Help me! Steve? puzzle that's coming up is pretty easy. I remember it. I don't know if I I wanted to call this a walkthrough, but it's not really a walkthrough because I'm not, I'm no fucking going on to this one. Well, this would just be a less for it. I was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! No slowing down with that kid. There's a place to save it somewhere here. It's up the stairs uh, uh, in a room to the right, I think. But I don't think I can get in there right now. Redfield! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base! I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me! I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> I think there's some explosive bolts in that room, but I'll come back for them later. So I'm running around the inventory space. If I go to the submarine, I can get two more slots. I know that for sure. Pick up this herb and combine it.
some bolts too. I'll be sure to grab that later. I get the first attempt because I was standing behind it. I don't know what happened. So difficult is the lack of item boxes like the it there are island item boxes but they're not as many as you'd hope um, and one of them is locked behind that shield press I think I think there's a item box over there there's also one in the mansion and those are the only ones I remember and this first part. Running up on 30 minutes here, I don't know. respawn. I'm not supposed to go this way yet, but I don't remember if there's a... I saw ink ribbons over there. I want to see if there's a place to save. Oh, wait. Hold up. I got bats are in this room. I don't attack you if you have the lighter. save I think there's one maybe it's in that room oh let's grab that guess I might as well grab them I think there's another pole over here. This is like that. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. I think that room's across there. I think it was ink ribbons there. There's. Oh, wait, I think I remember now. It's in this fucking room over here. That's why those ink ribbons are here. Probably gonna kill all these zombies that are fucking... I think this is a good spot to end it, and when we return, we'll continue to progress. So I will see you guys in the next part.